Welcome to our next travel video. This time we will take you with us on seven islands of Fiji. Fiji is located in the middle of Pacific. Fiji is an archipelago of about 330 islands. The largest one is Viti Levu, where lies the capital city of Suva. We started our journey in the biggest city in Nandi. Hi, we are at Fruit Market in Nandi in Fiji. It is so exciting here and we love Fiji so much. And I mean it, seriously. Tomorrow we are leaving to travel smaller islands and everything is just amazing. We can recommend it to everyone. We didn't see any supermarkets, just those huge markets with local fresh fruit, veggies and spices. Everything here is super cheap. A big papaya costs about one Fijian dollar. Right now we are sitting on a boat and skilled sailors are taking us to the paradise. There are mangrove forests on the right and the smoke you can see means a sugarcane harvest, but we'll talk about it later. Transportation amongst the islands is possible only via boat. To get somewhere, you must book a boat ride well in advance. It is quite expensive, as sometimes we paid more for transportation than for an accommodation. Now we are slowly approaching Mana Island in Mamanukas Archipelago, where we are going to spend the next four days. Amazing white beaches, turquoise water, green wild jungle and a heap of alluvial rubbish, disposable coffee cups, plastic bags, other garbage. It all came here with marine currents. All this litter will suffocate us one day. We are on Mana Island in Mamanukas Archipelago and the place we are on right now is named Tavalao. Mm. It is a great spot to observe coral reefs, which are over there. It is a part of Great Barrier Reef and we are going to snorkel there in a sack. So we are quite curious what we will see there. The underwater world here is spectacular. You can see turtles even on the beach, mm, sea snakes, billions of fish, sea stars. I have already seen moray eels. Uh, and this beach is called Sunset Beach. We haven't been there while sunset yet, but we are going to come someday as sunsets here in Fiji are absolutely unbelievable, so colorful and so long lasting. about to shoot 50 shades of blue here. Well, so this is a view from our room on Mana Island. We stayed in a hostel when we were on Mana Island. This was our room. There was just a bed and a big black spider. Anyway, we were only sleeping there. Who would like to be locked up in a room when it is so beautiful outside? We are waiting for departure from Mana Island, where we spent last four days. We recommend it for snorkeling as it's amazing here. It was my first time here when I was snorkeling. I came out of the water just a minute ago. I was feeding like hundreds of fish with dry bread. Well, I feel a little bit sad we are leaving because this place is a paradise on earth. Marine wolf Aku, or the boy as you can see on his cap, is taking us on his long boat to Waialailai Island. It is really exciting as we cruise the sea about an hour. We observe marine birds, fish and coral reefs. In Mana Island, Helen drowned her phone, so we lost the connection with the outside world. Marquette and Honza let our families know that we're fine. Coincidences do exist. Or 
It wasn't a coincidence. We are sitting on the rock on Balalailai Island. It is our second island during Fiji travels. Um, our accommodation is in homestay, which means we live with local family here in Fijian village. Oh, this island is kind of special because it's rocky, having a lot of steep hills. And we found here Honza and Market, our Czech roommates from Christchurch from New Zealand. Even though we had no idea, they are going to be here as well. Say something in Czech so people believe us. And that Fijian village is interesting too. Our accommodation is clean comparing to hostel on Mana Island. But the beach is dirty. That sucks. But there are corals in the sea and it's fine for swimming. But there's rubbish on the beach. We found a fallen rock, climbed on it and gazed to the countryside. A magical window or a local store. The rooster that drove us crazy. <laughs> and these are the rocks we climbed on. Just chilling, you know? Welcome everybody to our homestay accommodation, which means living with locals in the village, not in resort. Oh, so you can see how Fijian families are living. You can have a look. We are taking you for a short walk. A porch where we were eating and chatting with locals. This is a lunch. Here is one guest room. And finally, this is our room. There's a net in every room. Our room doesn't have a door, which is kind of stupid. It has only this curtain, so as you can see, there's no romance happening during the night. This is a kitchen. The toilet and the bathroom with clouds of ants everywhere. We've already shown you our hut, and now we'll show you the whole village. Let's begin on the beach. Neighbors' luxury bathroom and toilet. Hey sis, how is cracking? <laughs> A little cultural performance. It is an artistic musical performance in death metal theme. We continue, getting closer to the village center. Oh yeah, this is really a grave. Every house has its own where they bury family members. Hundred years ago, these local kids would eat us as a dessert with kava. This is a village. There are banana trees growing all around the place. This is delicious breadfruit. In traditional villages is everything everyone's. 
We've never figured out who lives in which house, because everybody walked in every house. Or whose these or those kids are as everyone took care of them as their own. This is how it should be. You go out for a walk, have a chat with your neighbors, ask what's new, how are their families, children, and if they need any help. Fijian villages are de facto large families. It has its reasons. Relationships amongst villagers are very tight. People depend on each other. They are living on a small island in Pacific where it's raining just once a year and there's no other source of drinkable water. If they wouldn't care about each other, they probably would not survive. Just now we've crossed the village to its other end, where are rocks, heaps of rubbish and pig pens. Piggies are doing their regular watch for some treats. But we have nothing for them because we didn't know they are here. Maybe next time. Besides people, there are also these minor birds living in the village. Also a lot of dogs that have their masters. Although they can run anywhere, as there are no fences in the village, but their masters always come and grab them. Bula. Greetings from Fijian children. Bula means hi or welcome, and it is the most common word here. Now you can hear Fijian language. Hmm? Local families have approximately six kids each. Therefore, kids are everywhere and they are quite curious. Because we missed our water taxi, we ended up on a long boat which was driven by three local teenagers. They took us to the white sandy beach resort. We are on our next island. This place is called white sandy beach. Somewhere over there is a hut we stay in. Mm, the beach here is really pretty, but unfortunately full of rubbish when you leave resort. It is just insane. And they have figure here. Hey buddy! Most of the Fiji Islands were created by volcanic activity. This is the hotel where we spent three days. We used to live in this beach house. It had its own toilet and outside bathroom, and more importantly, view from the bed directly to the sea. Hammocks are kind of a part of Fijian cultural heritage. You can see exclusively piranhas feeding in Fiji. Are attacking. 
<laughs> wow. Oh! 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 Damn! Damn, I touched it! I touched it! Wow, solid! He bit me like a pro! Wait, wait, I give him my finger and I catch it! <laughs> yeah. Oh! Bite me, you beast! They realize my finger is not food! One second ago, before Victor switched on the camera, a fish this big was here. Like, you know, 5 meters from the beach. It is just a paradise. So, Vicky, how do you like fidget so far? It's great so far. Is it our best holiday ever? I guess so. It is so alive here. How was Helen bitten by a fish? When there are new guests approaching, employees always sing some Fijian hit. Unfortunately, as we missed a regular water taxi, we missed our welcoming performance as well. We went for a beach walk and reached a ghost city. It is obviously some old resort which is abandoned for a while. And the only inhabitants are ants, it seems. I found these beautiful corals on the beach. The first and the second. I think I won't be able to take them home, but at least we have them in the video. One local youngster explained to us that this place was a hotel but was destroyed during the last year Cyclone Winston and that's why it's abandoned. Fiji is paradise for freedom travelers. We met a lot of adventurers from all parts of the world and all ages across. Fiji is definitely the friendliest and most freedom-spirited place we've ever been to. It's filled with joy and meeting new people. We were dancing, singing and chatting with others at a bonfire during our night. We just reached our almost last accommodation in the island, Navity Island. 
and accommodation where we are right now is called Long Beach Resort and it is just perfect here. We have our own hut on the beach with our own bathroom and the place is simply amazing. So great. I honestly think that we won't be in such a wonderful place ever again. It is so clean and full of trees, with such a unique atmosphere. This view can never be boring. This is our hut. You see, it's right on the beach. I know I said that White Sandy Beach is the best place, but this is actually the best place we've been to. It is so gorgeously beautiful here. So well maintained and so pretty. A few palm crops live here as well. They are hidden in a burrows during the day because of the heat. Some holes are really big. The owner's son showed us how to harvest coconuts right from the palm tree. You must climb it first and twirl few biggest off. And the next step is to climb down, of course. Then you cut off the top with a big knife. And crush the shell gently so you don't spill any water. Cheers! When you drink, all the liquid from inside, which is known as healthy coconut water, you cut the shell into halves, so you get the meat. Young coconut's meat has a consistence as a butter. There's a little different procedure with older brown coconuts. You must remove the coconut fiber first. You can peel it off with help of wooden spear as you can see. It is not difficult but it requires some practice. When you are done with peeling, you grab the coconut in vertical way with its face up and you crush it few times over something hard. And the nutshell cracks in two identical halves. What a hat, right? Old coconuts have solid meat, which needs to be shredded out. Locals use this special device. Then, you have to go to jungle, find some papayas and use your coconut shred to make yourself a fantastic dessert.
One day we hiked with others to the top of the gold hill. So we had some exercise. The view of the ocean with corals was absolutely fantastic. How many baskets have you, have you already made? Quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Quite a lot. I think so. Apart from the palm groves, there is a lot of mangrove forests. During a high tide, their root system is completely submerged underwater and during a low tide, it is all on the surface. They have some children even here in Navity Island. This is cute owner's daughter and I had absolutely no idea what she wanted to tell me. This is real sustainable fishing. We are moving on to the Yasava Archipelago and our next stop is a hotel Blue Lagoon named after the famous movie from 1980 which was shooted right here. This is a boat stop Blue Lagoon. This is the big water taxi, which sails with passengers through the islands, but never goes close to them because of the reefs. The taxi has prescribed route and in given times only slows down at some given stops, and hotel employees or locals from the islands have to use their small longboats to get to the passengers. That is why everything has to be booked in advance, so people know you're coming. Welcome drinks and songs in Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon is a luxury hotel. We must admit it is quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it. As you can notice, employees are mostly Fijians. They usually speak their Fijian language with tourists, which makes you feel you are really in a special place, but they can speak English very well. Snorkeling is a must-do here. There are massive coral reefs where the dark blue water is. Places with light blue color are a deep sandy seabed. The depth of the sea behind these reefs is about 5 meters. This is a boat full of supplies for a hotel. There are celebrations all the time in Blue Lagoon. Now it's a birthday one. And now a marriage. Here comes the bride. Kava, or Yakona drinking ceremony, is a replaceable part of Fijian culture. Kava is being prepared from a root of plant, Kava, from Pepper family. You can enjoy a lot of fun with Kava. Kava in Fiji is being drunk a lot and everywhere. The drink itself doesn't have a really good taste as it's quite bitter. Immediately after the first sip, your tongue, mouth or upper body will become paralyzed. Depends on the amount of drink you have. And then you are either excited or sleepy. Kawa drinking is an ancient Pacific Island tradition and it has its given rules. Everyone is sitting on a knitted mat and drink is being drunk from a coconut shell. Oh yeah, this is the famous Blue Lagoon. We are returning back to the main island Viti Levi. Smoke you are able to see comes from sugarcane harvest. In season, which fortunately doesn't last long time, are many islands completely covered in smoke. 
The main island Vitilev is shaped by green hills created by volcanic activity. These hills nearby Sigatoga town are not volcanic. These hills are actually enormous sand dunes, covered with vegetation. This area belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage because it is one of the largest and most fragile sand dunes in the world. The largest discovered burial site of Pacific area is right here as well. There is an informational path for tourists. The Cyclone Winston in 2016 uncovered thick layers of sand with human remains. These sand dunes are a very special place for locals. Spirits of their ancestors dwell there. When we were leaving this place, our ranger told us that archaeologists found there in 2014 several graves with abnormally big skeletons. According to these skeletons, these giants were approximately 3 meters tall. Just a few kilometers further lies already mentioned town Sigatoga, known for its river which is one of the largest rivers in Fiji. Our next stop are Mountains of Sleeping Giant, which are located westerly from Nandi. We are passing through sugarcane plantations. It is a season of harvest right now. Workers systematically fire plantations and the fire burns sugarcane leaves and all the weed around. The only parts which remain are cane stalks. They are cut and sent for further processing. You can notice rail and carts with stock. They are used for transportation. We are in the gardens of Sleeping Giant. Uh, it is a place in the mountains. It is not far away from Nandi, where we are departing from tomorrow. Sleeping Giant Gardens are de facto a part of jungle with incredible amount of orchids and other colorful native flowers and plants. There are parrots and other bird species everywhere. If you happen to be around, make sure you visit this special place. Entrance fee is just a few dollars and it's definitely worth it. We rent a car with driver for a day and the whole trip cost us just 130 Fijian dollars. When we finished in the gardens, our driver Kichi took us to these natural mud pools. There is a hot spring coming from the ground and this spring naturally melts dirt around and creates this awesome mud. And you can truly enjoy it. Our next stop are natural mud pools nearby Nandi. They are quite unique as there is a natural hot spring coming from the ground, melting soil around it and creating mud. Locals collect the mud to barrels. Tourists then coat themselves with mud and then they leave it dry and then hop into that pool and clean themselves properly. First phase is mud application. Locals say that this mud has healing properties so we are super curious. It should help with eczema and skin diseases. Don't expect any luxury, but everything in Fiji is made with nature and love. Fiji time means that you just can't hurry because you are in Fiji. Mission completed. First part is done. Now we'll explain why our local mountains called Sleeping Giant Mountains. Look at the shape of mountain range from right to left and you'll see him. Our aircraft to New Zealand is awaiting us. So goodbye Fiji. Thank you for your magical nature, rich cultural heritage and friendly locals.
There is a big sign in arrival hall in Nandi airport and it says Bula, welcome home. We felt like at home immediately. Fiji is a paradise on earth. It is a unique place which is worth to see and fall in love with. If you want to visit Fiji, don't hesitate and go. If you'd like to know more, there is a detailed travel diary from Fiji in our website. Or you can contact us. We love to talk about Fiji. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any other videos. It is free for you and for us it's a good motivation to make some more videos.